Welcome to the second video of the refrigeration fundamentals. In this video, we will explore the pressure temperature chart, also known as the PT chart. The theory of refrigeration is easier understood by grasping the relationship of the pressure and temperature of saturated refrigerant. At saturation, there is a direct relationship to refrigerant temperature and pressure. And the pressure temperature chart references this relationship. PT charts may look different, but the relationship between pressure and temperature will be the same. The PT chart shown shows the ASHRAE classification, ozone depletion potential, global warming potential, the scientific abbreviations of the refrigerant, and the refrigerant name. ASHRAE classifies refrigerant by toxicity and flammability. A1 refrigerants have lower toxicity with no flame propagation, whereas A2L refrigerants have a lower flammability. The ozone depletion potential and global warming potential have direct environmental impacts, and hence why refrigerants are phased out. The refrigerant type abbreviations represent the scientific name. On the left of the PT chart are the saturated temperatures, or boiling point, and in the body of the PT chart are the pressures for specific refrigerants. Remember, the saturated refrigerant will remain constant temperature at a given pressure. Boiling water can help understand the concept of saturated refrigerant remaining at constant temperature. When refrigerant is saturated, in other words, liquid and vapor exist. The temperature will be constant when heat is added or removed. The boiling water is saturated since water and vapor exist at the same time. As more heat is added, the water remains at the boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature of the water will not be above 212 degrees Fahrenheit while it is saturated. This is an example of what is happening inside the evaporator. Like water, refrigerant can exist in three states, solid, liquid, and vapor. It is unlikely that a technician will see refrigerant in a solid state since the freezing point of a refrigerant is extremely low. For example, R32 has a freezing point of negative 213 degrees Fahrenheit. To master refrigeration theory, technicians need to understand the concept of vapor and liquid and saturated refrigerant. When the refrigerant is saturated, vapor and liquid exist. The temperature corresponds to the PT chart. When the refrigerant exists as 100% vapor, the refrigerant is above the saturating temperature or the boiling point. This is known as superheated vapor. When the refrigerant exists as 100% liquid, the refrigerant is below the saturated temperature or boiling point. This is known as subcooled liquid. The Field Piece app shows the saturated condensing temperature equals 96 degrees Fahrenheit. In the condenser, whenever vapor and liquid exist, the refrigerant temperature will be 96 degrees. Any heat removed will only assist in a phase change from vapor to liquid, but the temperature will remain 96 degrees. As the temperature travels further through the circuit, the saturated temperature remains at 96 degrees, but the actual refrigerant temperature equals 86 degrees when it leaves the condenser. Since the refrigerant is below the saturated temperature by 10 degrees, the refrigerant is 100% liquid with 10 degrees of subcooling. The filled piece app shows the saturated evaporator temperature equals 42 degrees. In the evaporator, whenever vapor and liquid exist, the refrigerant temperature will be 42 degrees. Any heat absorbed will only assist in a phase change from liquid to vapor, but the temperature will remain 42 degrees. As the refrigerant travels further through the circuit, the saturated temperature will remain at 42 degrees. But when the refrigerant leaves the evaporator, travels through the vapor line to the condenser, the temperature of the vapor line at the condenser is 57 degrees. 
Since the refrigerant is above the saturated temperature by 15 degrees, the refrigerant is 100% vapor with 15 degrees of superheat. The PT chart will be integrated into the technician's instruments. Analog gauges will have the pressure on the outer rim and the saturated temperature on the inner rims. Analog gauges have limitations with refrigerant type and accuracy. Digital gauges have numeric values representing the PT chart with multiple refrigerant sections. Bluetooth gauges have multiple refrigerants plus provide data to be logged and saved. The PT chart is integrated through the app. Also, these gauges prevent cross-contamination since there are not any hoses. HVAC technicians equipped with better tools ultimately have greater success in the field. And the cooling systems benefit from increased efficiency with long-term cost savings.